team of local women's health providers work to lower the odds that a mom will need a C-section when having a baby. Medical reporter Liz Bona shares how it helped one mom at Bethesda North Hospital have a really special delivery. When her first son Dylan was born almost four years ago, his heart rate was dropping low and they just rushed me back into surgery. After that emergency cesarean section, Christina Beast gave birth vaginally to baby Desmond, or Desi as they call him. She was grateful because... I could get up right away. Um, we got to leave the hospital earlier and it was easier to take care of my family once I got home. And Christina credits her obstetrician gynecologist, Dr. Alan Altman, with helping her make the right choice. Dr. Altman says women who have one C-section have a higher rate of having a second one. And in those C-sections, you have higher risk for bleeding, you have higher risk for infection, you have higher risk for the placenta getting stuck to the uterus and maybe even a hysterectomy. But even knowing this, Dr. Altman says several years ago, his TriHealth physician team discovered their C-section rate was at 36% for new moms. The Healthy People 2020 goals suggest it should be no higher than 23.9%. And so he says they made the decision to try and do things a little differently, to move toward those national goals. And what they did could be a national model in any healthcare setting. They had each physician take a C-section electronic learning course to provide the newest delivery research. And then they shared each physician's numbers with the others. And we all know that doctors are very competitive, and because of that, they will seek ways to uh, look better, seek ways to improve their practice. Uh, they will talk to other physicians who have a better rate to see maybe what they might be doing different. They also standardized fetal monitoring training. And we know when a baby's in trouble and when a baby's not in trouble. In addition, they chose not to rush moms in delivery and began talking to moms such as Christina about options when they went into labor. He told me over the phone after I gave him some information that I had a 70% chance of having a successful VBAC. All that adds up not only to healthy moms and babies, it adds up to some very healthy cesarean section delivery numbers long before 2020. In 2016, which was the first year we implemented it, we got it down to 28.8%. And in 2017, this past year, we were down to 23.2%, uh, which is actually better than that goal. And I believe that as we go through this year, we're going to actually drop it even a little bit lower. At Bethesda North Hospital in Montgomery, Lisbon is Local 12 News.